Hello fellow YouTubers, Tutagamon here. Watch Dogs 2 came out uh, yesterday, so guess what, it's benchmark time. So in this video we are going to see how single GTX 1070 performs in Watch Dogs 2. As always, this is a digital recording which is done on an external recorder at 60 frames per second. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. I'm not using any software to record uh, this video on this uh, machine because this is a benchmark after all and it would be silly. So uh, I'm using my old Core i5-2500 which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. Let me uh, load it real quickly just to be correct. There we are. It has 16 GB of memory and the graphics card is a single GTX 1070, a KFA2 EX model. Latest force were installed and it is boosting at 2 GHz, but we will verify that at the end of the video. For this uh, benchmark, I'm going to use fraps are usual, as usual and I'm going to gather frame rate data. We will see a basic result in this file and some analysis at the end of the video with FLA calculator. So let me launch the game. So let's see the settings first. I'm using 1080p resolution. The rest of the settings are the default. No vsync of course since uh, this is a benchmark. And I'm using the straight ultra preset. Of course uh, there are uh, higher settings than the ultra. Like the extra details and uh, headlight shadows. And of course, temporal filtering, multi-sampled anti-aliasing. You can increase the post-process anti-aliasing. A lot of code controversy has gone uh, with the shadows, the PCSS, HFTS, you name it. But I'm going to stick for the ultra preset for now, and maybe uh, I will do a maxed out version later for now let me go to my benchmark location this game is a little tricky to benchmark it is very dynamic things change save after save load after load But it will have to do, so uh, I'm not starting the benchmark just yet, uh, sorry. Let me select... Ah, oh, fuck. Yes. Okay. I'm starting the benchmark.
very heavy on the CPU as you can see. Straight CPU limit even at 4.8 gigahertz. But not uh, too bad. If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? Gotta keep it calm. They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right, I sent you the GPS of the car's route. I need...
Powering up. System check. Sweet! Let's roll. The need for speed. Stop your vehicle now! You are not authorized to drive this vehicle. Well, I'm authorizing myself, motherfucker. Wait, you hear this? The car is talking. Stop the vehicle! Your face is too dark for my sensors to read. What? Bitch, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell your sensors to calibrate that. I have no reference it's for black. No, of course you don't. Hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devin. Together, we will carve up the streets. Wait, did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous jacked smart car. Whoa, wait, did, did you just say the car quoted the movie? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> that is so meta. I'm clear. Meet you at the garage. On my way. I am Devin Von Devin and I am... You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything.
And this is the end of the benchmark. So first of all, the average frame rate was at 69.5, let's call it 70 frames per second. Not too bad, despite some uh, CPU limits. Frame rate is uh, quite decent and the frame times do not seem to be so bad. There are some spikes here and there, but during the normal gameplay session they seem to be okay the game felt uh, quite smooth now regarding the GPU usage as you can see it is not 99% all the time there are some dips and not, not only that uh, the performance the GPU usage is back at 98% uh, that it does indicate a CPU limit or a platform limit, but 98 is not uh, very good. We need 99. There is something uh, weird going on with uh, the GPU usage measurement. Uh, and here we can see why the CPU usage is extremely high. Once again, it reaches extreme heights, even 100% uh, at some points. But thankfully the temps are ok. RAM usage is at 5.7 GB, give or take. Quite high. The power of the card is at a little above 70 percent GPU temps are fine the core clock of the video card is indeed at 2 GHz throughout the run no throttling uh, the video RAM shows an interesting graph 5.5, 5.6, it drops to 4.3, jumps to close to 6, not close, 6 gigabytes. In any case, it is way above 4 gigabytes for the ultra preset. No limit hit, and of course, we can get a more accurate picture of. FLA calculator from FLA calculator I need this file I expect it as much Give me a moment to load the graphs. Well, now as you can see, although we got uh, 70 frames per second uh, from our normal reading, the perceivable frame rate according to the calculator was closer to 53. We do have a slight variability in the frame times. The stuttering is not too bad, it is, it is below 2 milliseconds uh, and the average frame rate is at 14.39 Not bad performance in all accounts We do see that uh, the, the frame rate was quite low during the first part of the benchmark Possibly some CPU limits here it was trying to set up the whole game it gets better afterwards it is about 60 frames per second throughout some dips here and there not a bad experience of course 
Now unfortunately we have uh, these big spikes here that do not paint uh, a very good picture as far as frame times go. I needed this to, to be missing so we could have a better uh, view of the frame times. But we do not see anything crazy anyhow. The very important graph of the time spent frame times we do have uh, around 19% frame times that are above the 16.7 milliseconds threshold. Uh, we need 16.7 for a smooth 60 frames per second gameplay. 20% 20, 20 of these frame times were beyond that. Not uh, too troublesome, but it would be better if they were below that. Time spent to beyond milliseconds graph. The percentile, of course, very important graph. And if I get it down to 16.6 uh, milliseconds we can see that all this area again around 20% uh, of the frame times are uh, a little slow but overall the game has a decent uh, rendering I believe all this to be due to the CPU with a better CPU the game uh, would be a lot better I think but that is something that we can test in a future video and the frame times we see that the vast majority of those are be below 16 milliseconds not a bad performance for sure the game is uh, absolutely playable actually I played it a while uh, with a CPU at 4.3 GHz, which is my, nor my normal game uh, gaming speed. It was still quite playable. There were some uh, dips uh, here and there, but overall uh, quite decent. I believe it is a graphics card that is uh, it is the most important in this game and in most games, of course. That's it, my friends. Uh, we have reached the end of another benchmarking video. I will continue some more Watch Dogs 2 benchmarking. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.